Hey Factionistas, and welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween, which is a new Halloween tutorial every single day through October. I'm starting off with this orange body paint, and this is by Mayron, and it's water activated paint. And I'm using this Tarte Buffing Foundation Brush, which I've never used before, but like, look at it. I like did my whole face in 10 seconds. So I'm applying that all over my entire face using that orange color. Like, look at it. I mean, it took me like a second. Now I'm going on with this cream paint by Mayron, and grease paints are really great to blend on top of face paints. Thanks, Jordan, for that tip. And I'm applying that to my cheekbone just to add a little bit of depth. I like to do this a lot before face paint looks because it helps me, keeps me focused, and like I can see the depth in my face, so I like it helps me with placement and stuff. Maybe you don't need it, but I do. <laughs> so I'm using a stippling brush now, um, or a dual fiber brush to blend out the highlight, and then I'm also going back in with that same foundation brush with, with brush with no additional face paint on it, and that's really going to help give you a nice blend. Setting it all now with a loose powder, a translucent clear, like this powder has no color. I'm doing that because I know that I'm going to be blending on a lot of shadows on top of this look. So going in with the lightest shade in the Anastasia Contour Kit, which you can use any brown eyeshadow, I'm using that to now start defining my cheekbones. Going in with the lighter shade and then now with the darkest shade right beneath it, just to add as much depth as humanly possible. And definitely go back in with that uh, foundation brush with face paint left on it or more translucent powder, just to really help blend that out. Now I'm going with this brown shade, which I'm just going to adding texture now. This whole tutorial is basically like a texture tutorial because I wanted it to be so textured it could just die. You know what I mean? So I'm using this now with this uh, mesh sponge, and I'm using now that brown and that black to start adding texture around the contour areas. So right, I'm starting it in the cheekbone, and then I'm going to speed it up, and I'm going to show you guys exactly where I placed it. But this brush is just really great, especially for Halloween or any kind of look, to really stipple on texture and to really bring a makeup to life. And you guys know me, I love my grungy shit. I'm also using this to contour the jawline, which is a fun little trick, and then also down the sides of the nose. But just apply it everywhere. This is gonna look like a, this is a dirty pumpkin. Going in with the darkest brown in the Anastasia shade, I'm taking a pencil brush, and I'm creating these very simple curved lines up and down my face, and that's gonna give me the illusion that I'm a pumpkin. So once I apply it, I blend out one edge of it only in the opposite direction, going away from the center of my face. And you're just gonna keep doing that and place it um, uh, hopefully very nearly spaced out and then it's as easy as that and then now you kind of look like a pumpkin But don't forget to kind of connect those lines connect the forehead lines to the cheek lines and then those cheek lines to the mouth line So it looks like it's one solid cohesive pumpkin um, But you actually I mean it doesn't have to be too precise you can totally get away with it. like this look is so grungy like the, Like precision isn't is as important which I think is really great for you beginners out there. That'd be real fun you know what I mean? So I'm going with this yellow face paint, and in between those two lines, I'm just stippling on little yellow marks as highlights. Super easy. I'm going in now with the mouth. So I'm creating these very simple triangles using the black Mayron face water-activated face paint and a little bit of a flat, I think it's a flat brush, and I'm just creating these zigzag lines kind of like my um, Alice in Wonderland uh, bunny makeup. And then we're just going to start thickening up these lines, and then we're going to make triangles beneath those triangles, and that's going to make the mouth whole. Does that make sense? So then we're just going to fill that in and get it all nice and black. And then I realized that the lines were a little bit too straight. So in a second here, you guys are going to see me start diffusing these lines. And I'm just going to um, just you know make it very more uh, grungy. I can't think of any other word other than grungy. But see in here now, I'm taking these uh, straight lines out. And I'm feathering them out a little bit with little black um, hair-like strokes. And that'd be real cool. And then fill in your entire mouth the same way. So now we're going to do the eye slash eyebrow. So I'm just creating this little triangle thing um, on the top of my eyebrow. And that's going to like function like one as the his eyes, like the, an actual jack-o'-lantern's eyes. We're doing the same thing on the nose, of course. Like the jack-o'-lantern's eyes, but also its nose. Like, I don't know. I'm just going with it. I'm just I'm winging this whole tutorial, actually. So I'm putting a black eyeshadow in the brow bone and into my eyebrow to cover any orange face paint. And then I'm also going to sweep it over in a little bit of a cut crease. I'm going to blend this out. This doesn't have to be perfect because, again, this whole thing is grungy. <laughs> my favorite word. I need, I need to find a better word than grungy. Or not a better word, but grungy is a perfect word. But I need to find a new word, you know? Distressed. There we go. Anyway, so I'm playing a little bit underneath my eye, too, which doesn't matter because I'm going to put my contacts in. You guys know I'm going to cry all my makeup off. It happens every time. But I'm using that black face paint again to make some brow lines. And then this is a fun little uh, trick that I uh, did. I got that same sponge and I stippled on yellow into those little hollow areas and then went over those lines with black to cover any yellow that kind of strayed. 
and then I'm doing the same thing for the brow bone and then it's kind of like highlights with stipples you know so I got my sclera contacts in which they'll be linked down below don't worry but um, I'm applying black eyeliner all over again because I cried all the makeup off so with this NYX jumbo pencil in black bean I'm applying it to my waterline and then buffing that out with a blending brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow on top of that and don't be afraid to go too low because you really want to smoke this out so I messed up my right side of my mouth by accident, and I kind of liked it. So I'm doing the same thing on the left side, but then I also stippled white around my mouth, which my camera wasn't recording because I suck. But then now I'm stippling yellow underneath my eye, and then I'm going to take that off with a black eyeshadow and a blending brush because I didn't want it too close to my actual eye. But then that's the whole tutorial, my friends. It seems very complicated, but it's actually quite simple. But I hope you guys liked it, and definitely follow me on social media and subscribe to stay up to date with new videos, one every single day. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, friends.